Hello and welcome Fish here with another BMS video. In this video we're going to look very quickly at how to configure Weapons Delivery Planner for BMS 435 and how to use the new kneeboard functionality. And it's worthy of note that you can use the, the Weapons Delivery Planner for both 434 and 435 which you must change over some configuration settings that I'll go through in a moment. You can also um, install and run BMS 434 and 435 on the same computer so when you're updating to 435 you don't have to remove 434. So I have the weapons delivery planner opened and now we're going to configure it for the updated version of BMS and you can see it currently under settings you have Falcon location and it's pointing to my current install of BMS 434 and I need to change this. And all these settings below here while they can be changed manually they follow from the update that we do on this one. So I'm going to browse one step back and browse to 435. Press open to that and it should update. And now you can see we're pointed to BMS 435, in those three settings. So we click apply to that. And now we're set. So let's open our tactical engagement on 435 here. And I have a quick one saved. It's called all the A's. I'm going to go into that very quickly. And just stop the clock for a second. And then we're going to save our data cartridge. As we would normally do. And now we're ready to commit to the pit. But the last thing we need to do is to update our weapons delivery planner with all the information from from our uh, tactical engagement. So I'm going to navigate to our tactical, tactical engagement and you can see we've already navigated here. You may not have, uh, you may be navigating to 434 so it's important to make sure you're in the 435 folder. In this case I'm BMS 435 data add-ons and campaign folder. And we can see we have the all the A's tactical engagement and I'm going to select that one. And I'm going to select the package, occasion 4, press no to that. And now you can see we have our relevant information. So we want to, as we would in the past have done, we want to incorporate the data card into our kneeboard. And we do this in the normal way by clicking on the update kneeboard. And now we're presented with an option screen which has got 16 um, <clears throat> images on the left that we can cycle through and 16 images on the right at uh, board. And what I like to do is I like to configure these with the data card left and the data card right as it is there so I've no change to that. So the rest of them I'm going to go just for completeness I'm going to make them blank and then we will put in the ones that we want. And I do this because I don't want any legacy information left over that we don't need or use for this campaign. So if you're in a campaign or TE or theater, there's a lot of these that you're going to configure and then won't need to change. So there's only a few spaces you need to change. And the most important changes are things like the, um, the airport airbase information, approach charts and um, runway layouts associated with your departure and maybe your alternate uh, airport so you can leave some spaces for those and now I'm going to add in the ones that I want so on the left hand side what I want is the map it's the first one and then on the right hand side I'm going to add in my Tassara charge because Tassara is the airbase we're flying out of and what I've done is I've taken the nav aids and I've uh, broken them up into individual images or, or sets of images for each of the in individual air bases. And I've put them in a location uh, that I can easily access. So I'm going to browse to that location. And you can see we have the different air bases there. And I've grouped them so that I can see at a glance how many uh, pages there are for each air base. So in Tassara we've got, we've got two. And I'm going to select the first one. And I'm going to put that in... Um, slot number two on the right hand side. So I'm going to increment that slot page and press the insert button and now the selected picture is being displayed to me. 
So we're going to do the same again for the two of two images for Tassara, which is the ILS DMA chart. And we're going to now put that into slot three on the right hand side and we insert it there. So that's as much as I want to demonstrate there. We got one, two, three on the right and two on the left. I'm going to save that as we would normally do. It takes a little bit longer to save because we've got uh, 16 files to save images. And then when I'm finished, now I should be ready to commit to the pit, which I'll do. So now we're in the pit and we can see, first off, there's no difference when we look at it first between the way it used to be when we loaded our data card left and right for the knee boards. But if we hover over, we can see the hotspot there in the center and we've also got a hotspot on the right here. The normal left click will scroll forward through those lists of 16 pages and the right click will scroll backwards. So if I go backwards, we get to 16 and if I go forward, we get to two. So we can see that our map view is on the left hand side after our data card. And on the right hand side, if we click forward, you can see we have our ground chart for the airport uh, to Sarah and click once more and we see we have our ILS and DME. The rest of them are blank, but these are going to be filled in by yourself. So I hope you found this uh, video useful and feel free to comment. Until the next time, this is Fish signing out.